Good morning, and welcome to another Deep Roots episode. Today we're looking at the promises of God. We don't have to beg God for anything. We are his sons and daughters. Galatians 4 verse 7, so you are no longer a slave, but God's shell. And since you are his shell, God has made you also an ear. Every promise in the word of God is for the children of God. The Bible is filled with the promises of God. From Genesis to Revelation, we read of normal people that receive the promises of God. These promises are sealed by the highest authority, God's word. In Hebrews 6 verse 13, it says, For when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself. One author notes, the promises of God will not come to pass in the life of a passive person. God's promises are obtained by faith. Every promise in God's word is attached to a principle and principles come with responsibility. We as children of God need to open our mouth and claim what God has already given us. We are ears, and therefore what belongs to him belongs to us. Psalm 24 verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. We need to address how we think and how we speak. Knowing that God has promised us something, however, does not guarantee that we will receive it. It's not enough to know the promises of God. We must possess the promises of God. It is active. Know the word and use the word. We may possess as many of the promises of God as we have faith to believe for. Faith is what connects us to the promise. Recently, I heard a speaker say, the kingdom of God is voice activated. We need to believe by faith that God has already provided and all we need through his people on the earth is to open our mouth and pray and claim what is ours. God has given you all the promises, but you must cross over and possess them. Some of you are standing on the brink of your promised land, but you are about to give up. Some of you are in fear of the giants before you. Others have doubts and are wavering at the promise. I encourage you, cross over and possess the promises of God. Find the promise in his word. Believe in your heart. Speak the promise with your mouth and don't give up. Believe by faith that what God has said is for you, is for you. Possess God's promises for your life. The word will not return void, but it will accomplish what it was sent to do. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for your many promises that you've given to us throughout your word. We pray, Lord, that as we would read your word and we will call on your promises that Lord we will see manifestations of your goodness and manifestations of of your transforming miraculous power in our land and in our time father guide us Lord and give us revelation and download as we read and as we draw close to you father God so that Lord your word will come forth out of our mouths in a powerful way that will change and transform those who hear it so, Father, even now, we thank you for your promises. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Join me next Monday, 7 a.m., for another episode of Deep Roots.